during a season that began with quarterback injuries and changes at the starting position. New Eagles quarterbacks coach Bill Lazor has seen a lot. We sat down with him to find out how Nick Foles and the rest of the guys are settling into their positions. When you're the quarterback coach in the NFL, you want a group of guys to work with who love football. Being the quarterback is different than a lot of other positions, maybe than any other position, because the learning never stops. And if guys get bored or, or get tired of doing the mundane things, of being coached on the little details, they're not going to last very long and they're never going to reach their potential. But what you want is a guy who physically is, is excited to find a way to get better. A guy who mentally wants to learn not only the intricacies of his position, but also the big picture. How does defense work? And I'm really excited about the group we have and how much they love quarterbacking and being better and, and, and how much they want to be great and are willing to do what it takes. And, and we try to hold real high standards and just every time we reach them, raise them. Foles in the shotgun, second and three. Ertz in motion, steps up in the backfield. Foles fakes, he's back. He is going deep down the far side for Riley Cooper. I think with Nick, the most important thing, like with any quarterback, is going to be work ethic. When you talk about developing, there's so many different things to work on at the position. Physically, mentally, the mindset, and Nick's really put a lot of time in. He wants to be great, and he's willing to do what it takes every day. Pulls his back, looks, fires for the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown by Riley Cooper, eight yards deep, and what a great throw by Nick. One of the great things that happened, I thought, in the open game when Nick threw seven touchdowns was that it was the clearest example at that point of how our preparation showed up on game day. There were some things that we had studied on video, some things that, that I presented to the quarterbacks, some things that they noticed on video, and so by the end of the week, we'd come to some pretty good conclusions and felt we had a chance for some big shots. And uh, it just was one of those things where it all fell into place on game day. I thought from that day forward, the whole group of quarterbacks, just we could look at each other and just say, okay, this is why we prepare the way we do. If we are thorough in our preparation, this is what can happen. Thick, on first down, thick. He's back. He's looking. Going for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Yep. It's Sean Jackson, nine yards deep. For Mike Vick, nothing has changed as far as his standing on this team. Mike's a great leader. Mike's respected by everyone on the team. None of that has changed, and that's a really a great tribute to Mike and the kind of person he is. Obviously, Mike brings wisdom of, of going through a lot of life experiences, and that's what you have when you have veteran players who've had success in this league, and, and that's why you like having veterans on your team. And I'm, I'm really proud of, of Mike and how he's preparing and he's ready to go in, and when his time comes again, he'll, he'll be ready.